What's up, fish tank people? Dawson's Fish Tanks bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. This is the being filmed the day before Sunday, but you don't care. It's still going to be a good video. Uh, species Sunday that I'm going to show you all. This is the first time ever they've had this at the uh, Aquatic Experience. They're doing a they're doing a uh, like show your fish off contest or whatever. The ACA has done these all the time, so it's nothing new there. But I'm um, trying to weave my way around here. So what everybody does is they register their own fish and it gets judged and I don't know how it's judged or whatever and I don't really know all of these species. I know a few of them pretty well. So I'm pretty pumped to be showing you this because this is people's like home pets that are kept in their own little stuff and people are raising them to be beautiful. I'm gonna turn around this way so you can see it. So like, and this is a, this is a bitch because you have to bring your, your fish or like I brought my cherries or whatever. You have to bring them, but you have to bring either your own water or, or mix theirs or whatever. So it's not an easy thing and it's not easy to make your fish look good. So I'm gonna shut up and not, I'm not gonna talk a lot about these species, but I am gonna show you a lot of really cool fish. So check it out. And drop me a comment if you know about what these fish are at what minute mark and if you've kept them or anything like that to make the video better because I don't know all these fish, but they're gonna be sick. Let's roll. As I have my cup of coffee, dude, these are fat. What's happening? What's up? Oh, hi, hell yes, get over here. Oh, Gary, Gary Lang walks into Species Sunday. I should, couldn't be better, man. How the hell are you? Pretty good. This is He's great. Small. That's my Dude, favorite. you just walked into a booby trap. Tell me about some species. What's, what's a small? That's a pierce. I love that fish. In my, in my, no, my next life, when I'm reincarnated, I'm going to come back and do Central American cichlids. When you're reincarnated, you're coming yeah. back to do that? How yeah. great is it that Gary Lang just walked in? All right, so uh, Gary, you like that fish? Look at look at the teeth on that thing. He might not have them just yet, but when they get bigger, they look like false teeth. False teeth. Let me hold some shit for you. I mean, all right. So we'll, we'll keep walking with me, Gary. Here's the what do you got? Show. What best show right here? Okay. See, see the ribbon? Best yeah, best I see that. Show. What what do you think of that fish? Oh, that's a very nice fish. What it's is it? Size. It's a it's Cichlosoma fessa, or I'm sorry. M I got I got her. Yeah, there you go. Okay. They changed the genus all the time. Slowly walk over with me, Gary. I'm gonna walk over to the I angel. I don't know any of the other. Well, ones I don't either. But this is a lazy species Sunday where all I'm gonna do is walk around and show off a lot of good fish. And if people know, they're gonna leave a comment. And I don't know half these cichlids. We, we, we've nice talked. Fish. Oh, that's a nice man of Gwensi. Now I know about that yeah. fish. That's yeah, a beautiful that's fish. Big. He's a little small too, but the that's a damn. I wish my glare wasn't in here. People could see this fish better. Yeah. He's got. Oh, he looks like a damn bass. Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice. Is that a Managuenzi? Yeah, that's Managuenzi. Uh, oh, oh wolf? That's a, what says wolf? That's wrong. I'm sorry. That's why it looked a little bit different. So. What about this Geophagus oh, down here? It's a here? Dovi. That's, that, I should know better than that. Whatever. What's this? This is a Geophagus of some kind? Um, that's a cool fish. Talk down close to the camera if you know the fish. This is a great fish from Haiti. Get up Hades. here, Gary. Step up ha closer. Hadiensis. That's a cool fish there. Hadiensis? So, yeah, ha from Haiti. So he's. They're supposed to have that bent look. I always look at those and think they're old. Something's wrong. But, uh, that's the look. That's 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 what. That the, is a cool that's, fish. That's what Ron Giorgione told me. He's a fish whisperer, so. Okay. He knows his cichlids. So. so that's supposed to have that. that it, lo it looks doesn't look bad. I mean, it doesn't look like it's funky. You know, it definitely arched, but he's he's not happy in that tank. But uh, how could he be? Those are cool fish. Ultifrons, not not doing what an ultifrons is supposed to do. What are they Ultra, supposed Ultra to do? Ultifrons will be right in the middle of the tank, looking like that. Okay. Well, well he's. I mean, I was. I started everything. this video by telling people like it's so hard to bring your own fish to a thing and expect them to look cool, you know, naked on display. Like, but if they do, good for them. That, that's what cichlids do, the Brazilian. Let's, let's go look at some um, some fish that we that we know a little better inside of here, Gary. Okay. Well, I know not. You know some of these. I love the Central Americans. So. You do? You'd come back as yeah. Gary Lang, the Rainbow Man, would come back and say, Oh, that's a beautiful Geophagus. That's, that's a wine. I variety. want that. What that's, is that? That's a new, new variety. Really? Fairly new. Or not variety, but new species. Now, wow. Wine, wine Millerite. That's a beautiful fish. I would keep that in a heartbeat. That's gorgeous. Wine Miller? Okay. Wow. That's badass. And then. Yeah, I want to get over to the Angels, but we're going to give some Oscars some credit here. <laughs> Little s s Africans. For all the Africans. Here's, here's, here's a real parrot cichlid, not the crappy ones. The real parrot? Oh, like the actual... Yeah, put, like, put the name up there. That's, that's, a, that's called a parrot cichlid. Yeah, that's, that's a real one. That's not a cross or any of the other stuff. That's the real. Yeah, Where's that real, from? 
Oh, um, South America? Yeah. I'm going to say South America, yeah. You know, Central and South, when they get big like that, sometimes they go off. Hey, Gary, do me a favor. Walk on this side with me. Have you ever kept any Severums or anything like that? I haven't kept Severums. Nope. Okay. They, well, this is a display fish from Seagrass, so that's... Oh, well, tonight. whatever. There's a this, baby, no, that's, a, that's a three-month-old Altum. Three-month-old Altum? <laughs> They're supposed to be 18 inches tall. Well, so. I, uh, I so know a guy, that's Eric... A, that's a baby. My buddy Eric has some of these in the show. I feel bad. I don't know which one his are. Well, well both of these are very. Uh, they're, both they're babies. These are tiny. They should be literally 18 inches from dorsal. 18 inches open. tall. Yeah. And you've seen who has who has them like that? I've seen I've seen them here. <laughs> who in, can in, I get on video with those? <laughs> the guy in Minnesota had them, and he and he had a, like a 900 gallon aquarium that. Gary, walk this way with me. He broke. So he's, the 900 gallon aquarium he broke. Yeah, it broke. Oh, had that like sucks. About 30 of them in there. So. 30 of them. His, his were only about 15 inches. But, uh, what about, oh, the discus. Decent I got discus. a guy talking to me about bringing some discus out to California. I've never kept them. He said, if you manage them in the tank, let's do it. But, I have you ever kept discus, Gary? No, I've never, never kept I've never them. bothered with them. No? I like, I like more challenging fish. Yeah. Here you go. What's this? It's a Budokoferai. What do you know about this fish, Gary? It's a, that's a baby. That's a baby? Yeah, they, they'd be about uh, 12, 14 inches. They're 12 inches, something like that. They're mean as snot, but they're really, really cool. So do, you, do you see any others as we peer around, Gary, that you might... Oh, what's this? Look for the ribbons. That's, that's Look for the ribbons? That's always good. There's, there's He's a, always got the on-point advice. Yeah. Look for the ribbons. That's so what is, but why? I don't know why this is a ribbon fish, though. Like, what is it? Just a... Well, it's one of the... Uh, uh, the West Africans. Uh, Velvet Chromis. Trying to get a better shot. They can be pretty, pretty nasty, but uh, you know, you give them enough space, I mean, all, all cichlids are territorial, so you have to, yeah. have to deal with them and give them the right space. Ooh. The fish isn't happy, that's a really pretty fish. Yeah, I've seen those. I think Bob Grower might have something like that. Yeah, he might. I've. Yeah, I beg them. Let's see what's over here. More Africans. There's some decent ones over here. I saw a few. That's yeah, cool. I mean, they you got the great colors. We're, we're back into the secrets. Ah, uh, uh, let's go back to the award winners. Unless you see something you really want to talk about. That's not scripted, folks. These guys are... Uh, these guys are... Sold? Quite <laughs> well, they're quite rare. They're, what are they? From Madagascar. That's a badass. That uh, you showed me one of those at the. Uh, I'm blanking on his name. Steve Eady has something Steve similar. Yeah. Yeah. So that that one there. I would the, buy the, that. The bleaker eye. That's cool. They get the real big eyes. Bleaker eye. Oh wow, they've got a lot of them. Holy cow, they all sold. Whole world tropical trying to show everybody how good hey, their fish are. Good. For, hey, well they're doing a good job of doing it, right? They're good. Those are a little bit on the small side, as you can see from Steve. Yeah. Well, whatever. Wow. Whoa, what is that over there? So, I want to show these guys off because they are really cool. I got, I'll link up the video at some point of uh, Steve Eady's one of these. He's got this insane mouth that's like, or eyes and like, they just bug eyes. It's one fish in a tank. I'm going to give this fish some cred. Gary, what is this bad boy? Um, I should know this and it's flower horn or something. I'm just, is it no, new rock? No? I don't, I don't, think don't know. Better. But, uh, Pretty cool you know, looking though. I don't know my stick looks very well. No. So. Well, well, we we know we know a few fish. Nice, but that, that's a small one. They get a little bit bigger than that. Let's go find more ribbon fish. There's a big one over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna take off. I've got a Gary. I've got to run. So give the man a proper thank okay, you. Thank you, Gary. Walking in random. Go get your thing. He didn't. He didn't even like. He just walked up and started talking to me. That's great. He hasn't even stepped us in, so. Gary Lang in the house. That's why I love these shows. So yeah, he said look for the ribbons. I'm gonna show some more. Hey dude, which one of your fish? Eric, my man, what's up, bro? How's Did you know you were gonna get on today? Alright. I dude. didn't know. You're wrapping up, you were Species Sunday today. Oh I am? It's on the fly. All you right. gotta bring it. What are we bringing today with the Altons, bro? Altums. You've been rocking them for a while. Uh, about a year and a half. Silverfish member for a while, know yep. about his tanks, love him. Yep. What did you trade? Give me the whole story. Uh, these I bought about quarter yeah. size. Okay. I had five, one died, and I then donated two to a cancer uh, funding thing. Yeah. And uh, they're great fish. Which were are they? What do you keep them in? What kind of parameters? What kind of water? Point to, your, a, point to your fish, bro. Get up here. 
this, this one. Dude, you're winning this with one, these. I think this is a male. I think this is a female. Do you think that you're not going to win the Ultimate category? I mean, you pretty much got it in the bag, dude. There's, there's only one. Not a lot of angels in here, so. Dude. No, I so, just keep them in a 55 with regular tap water that I cut with water from my uh, dehumidifier. Oh, yeah? Um, you don't use RL? No. What's the uh, what's the hardness? What's the any ideas on uh, our hard? My GH is off the off the charts in the tap water in Chicago. So you know, for a while I had the pH at about six, and then I moved into a bigger tank, and I haven't really worried about that. And they've done really well. So what do you I think just the pH is in there? Probably just under seven, maybe six, 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 seven, and they've really started to color up the last couple months with that blue. What do you think attributes that blue? Just they're being just, older, they're or just getting older. Are you feeding them anything different? What uh, do you feed no, them? I feed them. A lot of dri frozen stuff, just good flakes. Yeah. They eat whatever. I've got them in with some discus now, and um, how's that going? The discus actually bullied them. We're, the dominant discus was bullying them a little bit, but they're doing good. Uh, before I donated the other two, uh, these two were more dominant than the other two, so I thought maybe they'd pair off. But uh, good luck with that. I know, it's impossible. Would you have any idea where they're from? I know they're a Brazilian. They just fish, said but... wild caught. I don't know. If, they didn't give a description as to where they were caught when I bought Did them last year. Did you have to feed anything fancy when you got them? No, they were already eating. I made sure that they were eating. That's um, awesome, man. I tried to do a mix of pellet, flake, and frozen. They don't really like the pellets. No. Um, I mean, they'll eat them if they're real hungry, but they prefer flake. Or, and then I have some live bears that I keep in with them so they can have a, a chase every once in a while. about once a month yeah. and get some, really? some live food. Yeah. No fooling. Yeah. That's awesome. So I'm pretty excited. Species son, Eric's gonna win that, whatever. Hope everybody, if you can make it out to the Aquatic Experience next year, because this will be over by the time you see this, please do. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Check out the videos at the end of this. Tank on it, Later.